Another day, another story. Hide and seek is a healthy game for children. At the beginning of the game, everyone gathers together. The leader, facing a wall or a tree, loudly counts to a hundred or other agreed upon number. Everyone else at this time is hiding. When the leader has finished counting, he or she goes to look for all the players, saying in a loud voice one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to look for you all, it's time, I'm coming from the yard. Or who is not hiding, it's not my fault. Seeing someone hiding, the leader should be the first to run to the place from where he or she began the search and touch the person with his or her hand, he or she is the next leader. It was a hot May day. As always after dinner her friends Miriam, Yasmina, Albina and Layla met in front of the house. What shall we do? Miriam asked. Let's play hide and seek, Layla suggested. But make sure you don't run out of the yard or climb any trees, Yasmina said. Obey, the girls answered amicably and laughed. I drive, said Albina and closed her eyes. Count to a hundred and don't look, she heard behind her. Running away, the girls began to consult where to hide. I, for that old tree, said Yasmina, and only her heels sparkled. And us? Miriam asked Layla. We run to Aunt Hadija's front garden. You mustn't. She'll scold us. We can do it once, she won't. Aunt Hadija lived in a small house with white walls and a red tile roof. The lonely woman's only joy was the flowers in the front garden, which she spent hours tending. The girls lurked behind a bush studded with bright yellow buds about to bloom. Let Albina try to find them. Albina stopped counting and went in search. Soon she found Yasmina without much difficulty. Now the two of them were looking for Layla and Miriam, but they were nowhere to be seen. Palisade, how nice that we hid here, Layla whispered. Maybe we should get out of here after all, or Aunt Hadija will be upset, Miriam said, feeling guilty. No way. We'll be careful, we won't find a better place anyway. Suddenly there was a rustling sound next to them and they all drew back frightened. A cat jumped out to meet them. Before she knew it, Layla lost her balance and fell straight into a bed of tulips. Miriam tried to hold on to her friend and fell with her. The girls jumped up and saw what they had done, they had crumpled and broken the most beautiful flowers in the front garden. What have we done? Miriam cried out. At this moment, Aunt Hadija's window opened. Who is there? The woman asked. Come on, said Layla, and the girls ran away. Phew, that was close. We got away just in time, said a frantic Layla. What is the matter with you? She asked Miriam, who did not look happy. We have done a bad thing. We have to go back and apologize. But it was an accident, Layla tried to justify herself. Besides, we have to go and explain to Aunt Hadija. You've been hiding, haven't you? We couldn't find you anywhere. Yasmina and Albina came over to the girls. Why are you so gloomy? Miriam and Layla told us what had happened. What shall we do? Albina asked. Miriam wanted to answer, but then she saw her mother coming back from the store. The girl ran up to her and hugged her tightly. Assalamu alaikum, my daughter. What is the matter, did someone hurt you? No, I did. But I didn't mean to. The mother put the bag of goods on the ground. Tell me, what happened? Miriam, worried, told her how they had broken the flowers in the front garden. It is good of you to confess, my daughter. Our prophet, peace be upon him, used to say. Give up your lies and stock up on your truthfulness. You should go to Aunt Hadija and ask for forgiveness. Not five minutes later, the girls were standing outside Aunt Hadija's house. Knock, said Layla impatiently, and Miriam, gathering her courage, went to the door. Aunt Hadija came out at the knock. Assalamu alaikum, the girl said shyly. Wa alaikum asalam, Aunt Hadija answered. She sounded upset. Interrupting one another, the girls tried to explain how they ended up in the front garden and how they fell into the flower bed. Please excuse us, together the girls said. Aunt Hadija smiled and said, thank you for coming. Of course, I was very upset, but the flowers can be planted again. The main thing is that you are honest about everything. Allah loves the truthful. Then she invited the girls to her house, and they drank tea and candy together. When Miriam returned home in the evening, 
She told her mother that she and Layla had decided to help Aunt Hadija clean up the front garden tomorrow. Well done, you have done well. I think Allah is very pleased with you. After all, being truthful and treating your neighbors well is what our Prophet, peace be upon him, commanded. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. Verily, truthfulness leads a person to piety, and piety leads to paradise. A person will constantly speak the truth and later on will be recorded with Allah as the most truthful. Allah said, this is the day when truthful people will benefit from their truthfulness. They are destined to the gardens of paradise where rivers flow. They will abide there forever. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. This is great prosperity. 5. Almeida, 119